Alright boys, we live. Alright, so is everyone here then? Yes, sir. Mm hmm. I think so, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, uh, we have quite a few corpus on today. Uh, if one of you wants to start us off. Um, alright, as we all know, we do have K9 Karma's funeral today. Please remain respectful. Um, other than that, just stay safe, drive safe. It's chilly out there, stay warm, stay bundled up. If you need us, call us. Um, call for backup. Corporal Gervais, or Bachelor. No, oh, I haven't really got anything to say. Just watch your backs on the traffic stops if you need someone. You know, don't hesitate. Yo, We're all yo. here. We've got plenty of supervisors. Uh, you know, if yo. you need them, call them. Uh, other than that, nothing else. What you doing? Briefing. Ah. Uh... Sheriff? I got really nothing. Yes. How are you doing, a rattle uh, along? I do believe the K9's gonna be active. Uh, after can we have RTO on only, RTO. please? 10 1 if you need. And, uh, we should probably be SRU and in aviation. So, if you need them, use them. Uh, other than that, I got nothing. All right, I'll leave, uh, I'll leave most of the information for uh, K-9 Karma's funeral to Staff Sergeant Wade and Lieutenant Valentine. However, just as you see, it's snowing. Uh, please be careful when driving today. Uh, obviously, snow makes uh, the road very slick. So make sure you have enough braking distance. Make sure uh, you know, you're keeping speeds down a little bit. Uh, be careful while responding, clearing intersections, all of that. Better you get there safe than not at all. Other than that, uh, if pursuits, you know, go and uh, start getting reckless or go over excessive speeds, uh, obviously don't be afraid to get Foxtrot up. As long as it's not a whiteout, I'll still fly Foxtrot, and I'm sure some of the other pilots here will as well. Uh, Foxtrot can track that person until they stop, or, you know, we get them where we can uh, safely capture them and not put ourselves or other members of the public in danger. Other than that, just stay safe on scenes. Make sure you're, uh, make sure you know what's going on. All right. All right. Um, so I don't really have anything. You guys pretty much covered it. Uh, we're gonna be going to 1042. Um, that's where we're gonna start off, and then we're gonna drive over to 5000. Oh. And we're gonna park up there, and then we'll have the services. Um, and then whenever Lieutenant Mountain, you know, goes on his turn of briefing, he'll explain it more <clears throat> on what we'll do at the uh, burial site. Alright, I'm off duty today, so don't come for me for anything. You guys know why we're all here today, but it's just a part of the job. Uh, stay warm. Lieutenant. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, so, we got a few things um, this morning. Uh, we got uh, PD helping us uh, with a special mission. Um, yeah, if you don't know why we're all here, well, and you should probably pay attention to your bulletin boards and stuff like that. Um, it's going to be emotional time. If anybody needs to seek a counselor afterwards, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not your counselor, so don't come to me. Um, so let's get out there and do the right thing. We all know that Canon Karma would have wanted the best funeral, so let's do the right thing. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Anybody else? Nope. So let's get the show on the road. Start heading over to 1042. Okay, guys, yeah, welcome to the episode. Bit of a somber <laughs> intro to the episode yeah. today. Uh, um, who do you want me to ride with? 
Valentine. We are Reed. attending the funeral uh, of K9 Karma, who was shot shot in the line of duty uh, last there, week there. Uh, during a Code 5 stop. Um, yeah. I will unlock my room. Um. Get our seatbelt on. Let's quickly top my room. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's kind of a, well, it is a sad day for us all, so, yeah. Hey, Valentine. There you are. You want to pop up into your channel just so I've got an idea of where I'm going and all that, yeah? Yeah, go ahead. Just hop in with me. You can ride with me. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm, I'm, I'm away. I'm old. It takes me a while. Nice, dude. You got the fucking Tesla door. Really? Come on, dude. Okay. That'll, that'll do. Can we get units up here to block off traffic just so we don't get hit? 340.
Make sure you point, Wade. Uh, firing party members, go ahead and follow me. Make sure you all do the little point thing, point jazz.
you guys know, we're all here to mourn the loss of K9 Karma. <coughs> we originally started out with the LSP division and got a transfer to BCSO when we were in dire need of a few extra dogs. He served proudly. Always a great dog. Caught some of the best, worst criminals out there. Always had a good nose for the drugs, too. Criminals feared him. But I probably feared him even more. Karma was the right name for him. Nobody ever got away from him. He was strong-willed, strong-minded, and even stronger-bodied. Spirit may be gone, but we all know he'll be watching over us for the future. Anybody else? Rest in peace, oh, yes. buddy. Oh, okay. Rest in peace. Yeah, well said, Moss. Uh, K9 Karma will be missed uh, very greatly by the BCSO. Uh, he's one of the few very good dogs inside the, the county and stuff like that. Did a lot of work. Um, like Turtle said, he was a transfer. Um, and he did his damn best in the county, so. Uh, rest in peace, buddy. We all have a moment of silence. Oh, unless somebody else. We have a 30 second moment of silence, please. Yep, go ahead. Party. Good job, firing party. Yeah, is it, is it okay if I do something on top of his coffin? Yeah, you're good.
you later, buddy. Guys, for coming out. Sorry for your loss, Staff night. Sergeant. All of BCSO knows he was one of the best we had. Thanks for having us out. Oh no. Alright guys, so we will head to San so we'll get our bag to change into our operational kit, and then we will head out. <coughs> Let me go you need me, you know where I am, turtle. I am, guys. Howdy. Evening, LT. Evening, Staff Sergeant. Evening. Mm-hmm. Let me get the door for you, sir. Ah! Female changing. <laughs> Staff Sergeant, I'll be out of bed for a moment. Good oh, morning. Two fourteen will be ten eight. Two sixteen Kelly will be ten forty one ten eight. Two fifty three county ten forty one ten eight. Six tonight, ten point one. Just want to get that tweet out before I go on duty, guys. Two sixty thousand will
Right, sorry to uh, start the patrol off with a bit of a somber one, guys. Um, <coughs> appreciate funerals aren't always uh, the best way to start off, especially when. Uh, 222 is going to be 42. Especially when that patrol wasn't even recorded, or that part of the patrol actually. Um, I'll give you a quick rundown, guys. The we were looking out for three vehicles, and we located one of the vehicles and initiated the Code 5 stop on it. Unbeknownst to us... Carrying um, a channel. <coughs> actually, sorry, yeah, no, um... One, one of the vehicles in the Code 5 stop... 265 County. Of 265. the three of us... 10 Was, um... 10 was a K9 unit, uh, unit with... 311 uh, County. K9 County. 41, 10 And, um... <clears throat> Basically, what happened was, as we were initiating the stop and started commands, another vehicle that we were looking for um, essentially came up uh, behind us without us knowing and lit us up with a fully automatic, what we believe to be a newsy of some kind. Um, myself and Moss returned fire, um, at which point the vehicle ditched into a field. Now, bearing in mind it was it was at night, like pitch black um, <coughs> that night, so uh, you know, as, so as soon as the vehicle essentially bugged out I was like, okay, well you know, this this vehicle's you know, he's, ma he's made off I turn round and I'm like, where the hell's Moss gone? look down Moss is sat on his butt with a GSW to the vest and also, sorry, not a GSW, but like gunshots to the vest, which haven't penetrated, and then a couple of GSWs to his left arm. Um, at which point I start treating Moss, um, and then you hear over the radio, 255, be advised, K9 Karma is down. Now, K9 Karma was the vehicle on the right next to Moss's vehicle. I somehow, being the vehicle on the left, was left completely unscathed, um, and uh, yeah, it was not a good time. Um, due to the fire and uh, that we sustained, um, Moss was lucky to, you know, only get GSWs to the left, uh, left arm. Um, K9 Calm was taken out of the vehicle during the stop, which is why, um, which is why he also took collateral fire. Unfortunately, um, during this time, we then <coughs> um, we then had other units uh, come up to assist, and units started on the Code Five stop while I assisted to Moss and Joe Bay, assisted to Karma. At uh, which point we then had a second ambush of rapid sustained fire coming from the south from the field. Um, in fact, I will take you guys to the location in which it happened if we don't get called out to a call because it's not that far from here. Um, during this time, uh, it got increasingly. Um, chaotic in that a civilian's vehicle actually caught fire um, and the fuel tank unfortunately ruptured causing that causing an explosion um, and I almost got squashed by my FPIU being shunted just from the blast alone um, at which point I tried to get Moss to safety in between his car and Javis's car and I noticed then Corporal Javis has gone down as well um, and we took rapid sustained fire from the south in a field um, in pitch blackness or in pitch black darkness rather um, you know at this point Metro PD had also come up to assist uh, just, due, just due to the, um, the aggression of the attack um, and of the ambush so yeah and um, y you know the <laughs> the incursion was that fierce that um, unfortunately we did get a uh, 
We did get a uh, deputy lose their life, unfortunately. But we're just rolling up to it now, just by this fruit stand. So the stop initially took place here. I was positioned in the road in a traffic FPIU. Um, as we were um, conducting the stop on a red vehicle which was in front of us, we had a green vehicle from behind, open rapid fire on us and then bug off or bug out through the field there. Um, now at which point, you know, Moss is down around this location and Karma is down just on the other side of Moss's vehicle. So my vehicle as it is now would be Moss's vehicle. <coughs> um, Team 14, 10, 6, 3, Moss. We then... 10, 4. I was then treating Moss and we had SRU roll up on scene. Um, and SRU had coverage of, you know, the, the south here, <coughs> where um, yeah, uh, they, they were essentially looking out for any sort of ambush across the field, and also conducting the Code 5 while myself and Javier I mean, War just shot somebody in the city. Deputies. Hot mic. Um, Disregard. And, um, yeah, sorry for the hot mic there, guys. 253 Gammy. And then um, we then came from. We then had a. So we on a property check at the Blaine County Savings Bank in the Leon, 105. In the open, bearing in mind it was pitch black darkness, and all we were seeing was muzzle flashes, not even any headlights. Um, you know, and it was a, the case where they opened fire on us on the first incursion, we returned with fire. They opened fire, on the, opened fire on SRU, and SRU literally returned with hell um, as Metro PD SWAT were also rolling up, and you just had essentially a fireworks display, is what it looked like, between this car and SRU and SWAT. Um, but during that second incursion is when uh, Corporal Traverse went down, which uh, wasn't good, guys. Anyways, enough about the um, enough about the uh, incident. We're here to go and uh, find some troublemakers. And uh, I will say, guys, yes, the uh, suspects were neutralised. Um, as far as I'm aware, they didn't come quietly, and uh, SRU made SRU made an example of them. <coughs> it, was not a, uh, it was not a good time. It was, yeah. Uh, two fourteen. Two o five. Two o five. Are you gonna need a digital? Uh, send me the original officer if available. I do have the scene on the patrol right now. He's cooperating with me. Uh, we've asked 252, uh, 250, don't let the out with now. I was going to 7236 if you need an additional. Temper, you can roll me additional, but, uh, he's being cooperative right now. Temper, 236, if you want to just roll out, uh, to 205, so where you go. Seven four. can I get the, uh, postal again, please? This is going to be 1003. Uh, it's going to be just heading into Pluto, just past the gas station. Yeah, 10 4 batch of one route. <laughs> 236 advised, I am responding from Bandham Canyon, so I'm going to be a uh, delayed response, but I'll be for the distance. Double.
turn over the notification we've done in it because uh, a batch of reporting of the suspects in question is cooperative. We've got snowy conditions, guys, it's just not a problem. We've almost slipped off the road once there. Um, Good luck, Kenny. Find myself in 216. Clear, Kenny. Responding from Banham to uh, Polito, guys, which is where we're going to head. 11, 216. Can you get on your PA place? and advise the gentleman to uh, move his car a little bit faster? <coughs> Chad, for It's always tricky on that S Bend door without snow. Go ahead and get up. Take downs on now, guys. Just maximize our visibility here. Two five two thirty six. Go ahead, two thirty six. Location is going to change. It's going to be posted one thousand. It's going to be right by the twenty four seven Sassig Market. Ten four. I'm going to have to go through to the Great Two Junction and double back then. Ever. 211 County, you can mark myself and 260 now with that white Corvette again. East Joshua Road, 30 and uh, 3000. Where are you going, Tom? Um, Sixteen County, we just have shots fired in the area. Sixteen County, I'll be on uh, 1011 at 3037 Sandy Shores up. Airfield. Right. Uh, go ahead and start me uh, one she's time to bid. She's a, she's a good lady, I just don't like it. Good evening, folks, yeah, what we got here? Just the county you don't like to be down there. Hang on, I'm going to do it. Another 60 seconds or so. Yeah, we're um, got a 911 call Copy. of a subject running down East Great Ocean Highway uh, as I was uh -huh. Heading down to Polito, I spotted the subject. Uh, it's going to be Elijah Rabbit. Um, right. He's running away from his foster home because he doesn't like it up here in the county. It's too sandy. Um, which I can completely understand. Uh -huh. uh, he wants to go back to his old uh, foster home down in the city. Is it the right. city over? Oh, the, I think there's a. Um, I think there's uh, Moss's vehicles just down the road. FD are out for it because it's got yeah. some sort of liquid. 
and like yeah it's new policy for a sheriff's department we have to uh they have to wreck a car we have to get a fire out there to uh, True 11, investigate 216. it make sure it's not gonna blow over anything. yeah roger what's your location um, 3037 sandy shores so, airfield mr rabbit i mean uh, tempo. it's gonna be hard i mean why were you why did you change foster care like homes in the first place it was like what happened to make you move to this new one Okay, so you were with Miss Stone uh, before you went to jail, and you went to jail, five. and then they put you with this new family. Yes. Okay. Um, did the Miss did Miss Stone have any issues with you? Um, did right. you go into jail? Did she, you know, she filed any complaints or mm -hmm. like filed a, a report to get you out of there, or have you not had any communication with her since? I mean, I had communication with her while I was in there, but okay. she's gone quiet recently, and um, I, don't, I don't know if she's got a new phone or not. Okay. Um, Deputy Shu, do you want to go run a Sandra Stone in for me through the system? See Sandra if she comes Stone. back. It's going to be Sandra Common Spelling Stone and S O T okay. S T O N I N. N I N. Comes back in the system. If not, we'll have to go countywide. Uh, yeah. Roger. Alright mate, no worries. Thank you. Um, I mean, if we can contact her, I mean, there's not really much we can do. We can't force your adopted parents now to give you up and give you to her. Uh, that's more of a court issue. Um, I mean, you are 16, so you're kind of deemed an adult. So I believe at 16, you do have a choice on who you want to go with. So I mean, if you want to go with Sandra, if we can find her and everything checks out. I don't see there being an issue, but obviously this is not a, uh, like a department issue right here. This is a, uh, like Child Protective Services. Um, it might be some time. <clears throat> they might have to do a new background check, check her premises, stuff like that. Make sure she's still fit. Two questions. Can I give me a county tech if you want? Uh, so you might have to stay with the school or family you have now. Nothing's coming up, no? Negative. Okay, uh, do you want to do a county search work then, just to see if anything does pop up in the system? Because I know our local one kind of plays up sometimes. Okay, no worries. Um, have you got any friends or anything like that maybe you can stay with that are down in the city, just for like a few days or something? Uh, maybe. There's yeah, probably maybe a friend or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, your phone's working and everything yet, you could maybe place a phone call with them and we could arrange a taxi to pick you up and bring you down to the, uh... 206205. Uh, to the friend's apartment. Okay. I don't want to bring you back to your house and, <clears throat> you know, ten minutes later get a phone call that someone had been hit. Especially as it's getting dark right Dude, now, so I can't back you're wearing you. is your shoes. Yeah. Get on the, uh, get on radio for a second. Okay. 11, same traffic. Alright, send it. Yeah, be advised, um, I've got a death certificate here for a Sandra Stone and dated from three weeks ago exactly, mate. Not sure how you want to break it to, uh, to the gentleman here. 10 and 4, thank you. Alrighty, um, Mr. Rabbit? Yeah? I... I hate being the bearer of bad news, but it, it appears Miss Stonen has passed away. Um, that's probably why you can't get hold of her. There's a death certificate that dates, it was dated three weeks ago. Um, how old are your friends down in the city? Are they the same age as you, or are they older than you, or? Hey, uh, I am like... Come on, it's okay. Um. <clears throat> Take it easy, buddy. Come on, man. Okay. They're about the same age. Okay, so they're about 16 as well. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Um, physically and unfortunately, we can't get you to 
go back to your house and you're 16 you are deemed an adult um however the snow it is i mean you can still see you know locals are not slowing down um it was broad daylight and i barely saw you running down great ocean highway only that i saw you run past my passenger window that i saw you um is there anyone locally around here that you could stay with that maybe we could get you to stay with just for a couple of days you know clear your head let the news sink in and you know maybe reevaluate what you want to do even if it's friends out of town mate um if you've got friends elsewhere we can always give them a call for you and uh, see if they're willing to you know either come to you or you know we can arrange something to get you to go see them if you need to mate I've got a bit of money, um, you know, I've adopted a couple of people that I've actually met while I'm around here. Um, what I can do is I can get you a plane ticket if you need to go somewhere, or I can put you up in a hotel down in the city for a couple of days just so you can get away from everything and just clear your head. Um, I, just, I don't want to get a call saying that, you know, a, a male matching your description you know, has been hit running down Joshua Road and, you know, is, is deceased, you know, I don't want to hear that. Yeah, that's the last thing anyone wants to hear. somewhere nice and safe. I mean, we, I mean, shoot, uh, Deputy Shield here will even tell you, we've just attended a funeral, we don't want to have to attend another one. I apologize. Mate, you, got no, you got nothing to be sorry for, dude. It, to a 16 if you, if you didn't you know see those, this is uh, a slap in the face given ATV. the fact you know, you've got Gentlemen on the bikes get up there on the freeway, go ahead and pull them over and count their vehicles forever. Unroadworthy. 211, 216. Good. Hey guys, I'm out with those three quads right now. I have a friend in Sandy who would be able to take me for a couple of days. Okay. I can give you a lift down to Sandy, that's not a problem. Yeah, if you got a contact number for this friend just then, at least we've got combo with him as well, because we don't, we don't just want to be relying on just your contact number, obviously there's a duty of care that we've got to follow in regards to you, your mental well-being in regards to this incident as well, mate. Alright, mate. Number. Yeah, I'll get that written down and, uh, yeah, then we can go from there. Is there anything we can do for you here before I take you down to Sandy? Um, do you need any food, any... Like that? Do you want another coffee, or you good? No, I think I'm good. Well, what I want to do is I'll remain 10-7 for a minute while I'm just cool, and I'll take you down to Sandy. I'll meet the uh, gentleman that you're gonna be, you know, sitting but perhaps you're going to be staying at for a while. Um, okay. And then what I'll do is I'll give you my card. 214, you can, 205, and you know, even if you need 20 bucks, just give me a call. I mean, uh, negative, uh, not on this time, I'm afraid. Um, we're both I'm, occupied I just, I with a, um, you know, I don't want to look with a welfare check at this time. You were, you know, you're deceased, you know, because of a hit and run uh, or something like that. I, I want to make sure that you get safe and, you know, you live a happy life. This is for thing. Go ahead and attach We're not all here to, to arrest people. I, mean, uh, two, four, yeah, I know some people would have seen you running down Great Ocean Highway and would have just arrested you. I'm not here to make arrests, okay? I'm, I'm here for the well being of the people that I serve. I'm not gonna put you in cuffs unless you unless you put my life in danger. If you do that, then you know it's a whole different ball game. But you've been cooperative with me from the very beginning, so you show me respect, I show you respect, okay? Two eleven what units do we have attending the hit run? Yo yo. Uh, it's gonna be two fifty two. If you wanna go ahead and attach the you know. two thirty six yeah, update vehicle. I've just had a motorcycle which appears to be in a state of disrepair just to turn up at the um, petrol station. I'm going to uh, go over and have a chat with the rider. That should be right back. Yeah, yeah, I'll read that. Uh, hit him on my... 211-252. Go ahead. Can you buy us on the pulse or that then? 205-3. Uh, 
Yeah. I'm gonna see you in a few minutes. 214 to 260, we've got Z's. Oh, we've got Z's. Oh, we've got Z's. Why don't we get you in my yep, car? Copy, we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, find them again and pull them over. Uh, hey, how you doing? Nice bike you got there. You got any, uh... Is your bike supposed to sound like that when it was pulling in? So far, I believe I'm gonna possibly try to get away from us and black out on top of the mountain. I'm sorry, mate. You're gonna have to speak up. I can barely hear you. Yeah, maybe if you pulled the mask off, it uh, might help me hear you a bit better. I'm still, I, I'm not sure if it's the wind or what, but I can barely hear you, I'm afraid, pal. Oh, what do you mean? I can barely hear this. I'm sorry. Uh, don't quite follow you, but what crash you now, oh, well, I, I can barely understand you, I'm afraid. You, you're quite quiet. Um, just wondering if, uh, you know, if this bike's supposed to uh, sound the way it does. Uh, yeah, it does. it's supposed to sound that way. Is it? I think that's a 7. Yeah. Now, what is it, a Hexa or something? It's a uh, Sanctum. A what, sorry? So what is your name? The Sanctus. S I'm sorry, pal, you you're gonna have to speak up for me. It's a Sanctus. <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt, I can barely hear you. Can you just do me a favour, take the mask off, maybe it'll help me uh hear you a bit better? Okay, here, Deputy Shoop. Yeah, just um, just having a chat about the motorcycle, mate. It's related <coughs> to the uh, radio traffic we got earlier on, or is this yeah. just be different? Possibly, mate. Possibly. Oh, it okay. Well, I'm not sure if it is. Yeah, I'm just trying to establish that. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Corporal. Can you hear this person? Uh, just about, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if it's me. I'm, I genuinely, I can't hear, you, hear them. Well, it's, we're by a busy intersection or busy, like freeway. Yeah, so it's just part of the problem right there. It must be the wind noise or something. Mate, are you able just to it's pull a, your mask off or something? We'll, uh... Just because I can't hear you beyond what you're saying on you with your mask still on, mate. We get a pen and paper. Already have done that. Okay, um, I'll tell you what, dude. If you got any ID on you, um, if I can just take that real quick and uh, run you through the system um, while you're adjusting uh, your fa face wear, and then we'll go from there. Is that is that okay with you? Okay. Cheers, Angel. Right, I'll um, be back with you in a moment. Okay. I'll stay here. Yeah. If you want to bring your cruiser down, you can do. My uh, subject's going for a walk. Okay, no worries. So, a uh, little early for Christmas, isn't it? Thank you, Bachelor. At least someone agrees with me. One's, uh, 1,000 snore freeway by the gas station, please. 10 4. Yeah, it was 190. 53 205. 205, good. Vehicle description on your tandem one. It's gonna be a black, looks to be black secondary red primary LCC Sanctus. Uh, right is gonna be wearing. Uh, looks to be Christmas attire with a Christmas hat, pink balaclava, and a red and white scarf with blue shoes. Tempo. 
Kill up, Johnny. <clears throat> Go ahead. We can go ahead and start to uh, fire out this way then. Yeah, uh, we've got a vehicle leaking guys. antifreeze. It'd be uh, north on Sonora Freeway 2053. 10 4, stand by. So, uh, we're off to the Go for 205. Currently doesn't hold a valid driving license. Also, there's no photo on the ID. Tempo, that's going to be a DMV issue. Uh, we don't issue for that until the DMV fix their stuff. Tempo, I'll uh, quickly run the vehicle then. Can two four ten go? County two hundred five. Go for two hundred five. Who is on the ten eleven with you, sir? It's going to be two three six. Ten four. Yeah, hey, uh, ma'am, can you hear me? County 10 1 fire radio. Two thirty six two zero five. be advised the vehicle plate also isn't bouncing. 10 9? Two thirty six two zero five. be advised also the vehicle plate isn't bouncing back to me. 10 4. <clears throat> Alright Angel, here's your um here's your ID back. Um just real quickly, have you registered this vehicle on the DMV by any chance? second. Yeah, roger that, mate. <clears throat> can you know any better? Two yeah, sixty. Can we get more additionals to three zero zero eight off of uh, Marina? Oh! Just real quick, um, if you register your vehicle with the DMV. Uh, 216, we just had massive explosions at the gas station in San... I'm sorry, you, you haven't registered it. No, sir, I took it down to the city so I could get registered. Right, okay. Um... Right. Just bear with me, and I'll uh, get on the blower to a supervisor and see what they advise about this, because uh, we've got other discrepancies on the um, on the system, but we're not sure if they're a system issue or if this is like something to do with you know your actual uh, status on DMV. So I'll uh, just sit tight for a minute. I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm back. Okay, do you mind if I like step up there so I can smoke a cigarette? Yeah, of course. Um, just, yeah, obviously make uh, sure you're not near any flammable containers. Um, I wouldn't advise by the propane tank. If you want to go by yeah, the... I just want to step over there. Just well, go by the 24-7. Yeah, I would literally just about to say. That way you're, you're safe distance away. Okay, thank you. That's right. Yeah, um... That she's claiming that she knows the vehicle isn't registered and that she was on her way to the city to uh, register it. However, the city's the completely other direction. Have you got an address on location for her? Negative. I mean, it could be that she was in grapeseed and maybe she was going. No, that wouldn't. Wouldn't, wouldn't matter, mate. You can go both ways from Grapeseed. And if she needed fuel and she came here, but there's a gas station in there's Toledo, there's one yeah. down on the 13th. She could have gone to either one. Yeah, exactly. Okay, uh, uh, run her through the system again, through the countywide, and see if she's got a place of address, and we can try and narrow it down. If not, just slap her with a citation. Right, okay, mate. 
Because, I mean, if she openly knew that the vehicle wasn't registered, she could have at least phoned the DMV and get them to sort it then. At least give her, yeah. like, a temp time to get down and register it properly. Yeah. But if I'm she's going to sit there and say, I know it's not registered and I'm going to the city, clearly she's not because the DMV is located near Vinewood. So yeah. it's going to be quicker to go down the 13 than go yeah. this way. Yeah. So. Right, okay. Yeah, I'll, um... I'm going to go up and talk to her, see if I can get any more information out of her. Um, yeah, okay. I'm not going to... You know, private information, I'm just gonna talk to her and find out facts and stuff like that. Yeah, roger that. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> I do. Uh, what was her name again? Miss a Angel Cloud. Angel? Angel Cloud, okay. Hey, uh, Miss Angel? Angel, you there? Oh uh, yeah, so. Hey, um, whereabouts do you live then? Just out of curiosity, because our system's kind of a little bit iffy sometimes. It doesn't show some information. Two fifty-two to two eleven. Oh, what was that? Excuse me. Uh, I'm just wondering where your place of residency is. Um, go ahead. Sometimes on our system, it doesn't show your place of residency. No eyes on subject. Scandal waiting to Western Highway of sixty. I'm just floating around. Yeah, I need to one channel. Okay, so you don't actually have a place that you're staying, a hotel room, a motel, a friend's house, um, anything? 11 County. Go ahead. But, uh, Got a bolo for you and ready. Friends places, that's Go ahead. About it. Gonna be a okay. four door One red Toro. I have a about is you said that you're on your possible way to the rear end damage with a broken. Um, Left. I'm just wondering light. why you're going like down towards Polito when somebody wanted like, in connection DMV for a hit and run. Actually near Vinewood, it'd be easier to go down the 13 instead of going down GOH. It just doesn't make any sense. To me. Any plates, sir? Clean record, Mike. Negative. We do not have a plate at this time. Two sixteen. Can you roll one more additional with the three zero zero eight twenty four seven gas just station? Advising, um, off of, uh, dress, Alhambra. So. If we're any available unit yeah, advised. She's got place of uh, ownership right now. She's kind of bouncing between friends' houses. Yeah. Yeah. Two on one sixty-eight. Uh, you uh, hear my last question? Copy. I need one to step up code three until you're about a mile out. It's just I was heading down the road down this way. I just like this big view. Do we have a units closer? I'm in the five thousand and eleven region. Two five six. I mean, Debbie, this is your time. Never mind. So one thousand. That's fine. Currently tied up on a uh, another ten eleven road. Say again, Batch. Uh, this is your 1011, so I'm just here as the backup unit. Do whatever yeah. you want. Right, um, what, what she said so far? So I've been uh, going between the conversation and comms. She's staying with friends' houses. Uh, right. She's staying with friends right now. Uh, just yeah. kind of bouncing between house to house. Uh, okay. She was on her way to register the vehicle, and she came this way. That was about it. That's all I got out of her. Okay, why have you come this way, Miss Cloud? I just prefer the scenery on this side of the city instead of third city. I like seeing the ocean out that way. Appreciate that. Um, with all due respect, you could have done that on the way back. Um, if your vehicle is not registered and you get into some sort of collision or whatever like that, then there are legal issues that arise from that, I'm afraid. Um, and especially with the snow, the risk factor is just ramped up so much more. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut you a break, but I'm gonna tell you now: you get that bike straight to DMV as soon as you finish that cigarette, and if for whatever reason you are stopped en route, tell them that badge number two thirty six said that as long as you were heading to the DMV, you would be okay to drive. Okay, if you, if they suspect that for whatever reason you're not heading to the DMV because you've, you know, gone off on a different route, that's going to be null and void. Okay, 
So I expect you to take Route 13 right now, where it's safe to do so, head straight to Los Santos to the DMV and get the vehicle registered. Okay? Because the last thing I want you is stranded without a vehicle in this weather. Okay? Just just quickly. Oh. Uh, has has your bike ever been registered or is it just that the registration expired and you just got to go and renew it? Okay. Uh, thank you for letting me go without giving me too much trouble. Yeah, um, did you hear the call for question just then? No, as no, sorry, I had somebody in my ear. Uh, right, Batch, just keep um, an eye on her real quick. Your registration? Has it, like, have you ever had it registered, or is uh, it just that the registration expired and you just need to get it renewed? Okay. Alright, uh, I guess I'll just have to clear that up with the DMV when I get down there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because I mean, if you, if it's a new vehicle, there is a leeway. Uh, I think it's like 15 or 20 days or something that you can legally drive the vehicle. Um, but after that mark, if you're caught driving around without it registered, you will get a citation. However, if it's expired, um, then it's just going to be a straight up citation because you should have renewed it straight away. Um, Deputy Shield, did it say anything on the system? Was it expired or did it just say none? I'm not being funny, mate. Um, it was... A, I think it's a DMV issue, but it's coming back with no driving license at all. So, I'm not sure... Well, sorry, I was saying the, uh, the driving license status was null and void. Um, oh. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a DMV issue or um, a... Sis... A system issue as such. Yeah. I mean, is that say? I mean, to your experience, is that a system issue, or is that usually fairly accurate? Uh, that part is usually fairly accurate. Uh, I know sometimes the DMV is a bit, like, let's say, laggy in updating systems. Um, right. But I know the the pictures and everything, for whatever reason, they're like. They're not allowing some civilians to uh, get the photos taken yet. I don't know whether it's a problem with the camera or their system or whatever. I don't know. Uh, right. So I know we're, for that, we're not issuing citations anymore. Um, at least not that they got a fix. But okay. as for like vehicle information, that's <clears throat> usually on the ball right there. So, But like I said, sometimes yeah, there is a downtime of a few days to get stuff registered. Right, okay. Um, in that case, uh, <laughs> in that case, I'm afraid, Miss Cloud, that you've locked out. Um, we're gonna have to be impounding the vehicle because you're actually technically you're not legally covered. Well, I mean, you weren't anyways because it didn't have any registration. But the fact you don't actually have a driving license now as well, um, you, you've tied my hands um, at this point. So she hasn't got a driving license either. Yeah, the, the driving license status is showing that she doesn't have one, mate. Hmm. So um, she's got no driving license, no registration to the vehicle. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I'm getting every okay, other excuse man. to arrest this person at the minute, and I'm trying to find... Miss... Well, Miss Clown, are you there? I'm, I'm yeah, trying to find yeah. reasons not right, to, look, really. I'm... I'm a cooperative guy. Alright, so just be straight up with me, okay? Did you... have you... Like, have you got a valid driving license? Have you notified DMV? the DMV that you have one, or have you not got one? Just be straight up with me. I don't really have one yet. Right. Like, honestly, I don't have a driver's license yet. So why don't you tell us right, that? So you don't when... have a driver's license. Yeah, why did you not tell us that when we started questioning you? I was hoping to kind of slide by a little bit of that. Trying to kind of avoid having all this kind of trouble. Alright. <laughs> okay. Give me a favor. Just stay where you are there, light another cigarette, whatever. Uh, Deputy Short, I'm going to talk to you over here quickly. Yeah, roger that. See if we can't work something out. <clears throat> okay. Um, 
so obviously I know she said she's been like trying to slide she's been trying to slide through and everything like that yeah. without the citation. You can't really blame um, her for that. It's has she been fun. no. Has she been cooperative through the whole entire time or has Literally she been, no she's issues. Been holding information but Literally no issues. She hasn't necessarily actively lied. Um but at the same time it's like you know, you can understand her trying to slide through. Um Yeah. My reasoning on whether to arrest her or not is due to obviously adverse weather conditions, the type of vehicle and and also the mess that is the driving license status with no registration. Um, and I've also got slight concerns about whether she's actually in a fit enough state, i.e. her overall awareness to actually operate the vehicle, because she's been quite slow with some of the questions as well. Um, not sure whether the yeah. that hat is overly woolly, but yeah. <laughs> well, what we can do is, I mean, again, this is your traffic stop, you have the final call, but mm -hmm. I'm sure she must have a phone on her or something, or she can borrow yeah. one of ours. Get her to ring the DMV, see if she can't get the whole application for the driving license started, that will give her temporary immunity. Mm. Um, as for the bike, she can't really register that until she's got a full driving license. So unless yeah. she's already put in, in the application and it's just, you know, backdated and they haven't got it yet, uh -huh. uh, we can ask them to... We can... Uh, we can um, get them to kind of push it forward a little bit, just to see it might have been an error in there, and maybe they're just backlogged, especially with Christmas. Um, or you can just go... Balls to the wall and just take her in cuffs right now and put her in jail. But uh, I'll be honest, mate. Know, I, uh, she's, that's the last she's thing a I nice person. Do. She doesn't seem to be. Yeah. Um, so maybe let's try the DMV route first. And yeah. If she's gonna straight up and lie to us, then by all means, I'll fucking slap her in cuffs myself. I don't care. Oh yeah. But I mean, if she's at least gonna try and you know fix the solution, then we could maybe let her out of here. You know, on like a 30 day time, like 30 days to get the whole thing fixed before. You know, she gets pulled over again and gets arrested. Yeah, agreed. Um, it being so close to Christmas, I don't think that's what, you know, being slapped yeah, in cuffs is what she needs unless she gives us a reason to. Um, but yeah, I mean, so, I mean... Let's maybe try the DMV first and yeah. see if she even has an application on file. If she doesn't, we can get her right here right now to set one out now. That will give her, you know, we can tell her just to go straight home. No driving the bike, no nothing until that application is approved. Yeah. And then by all means, she can get on the bike with it not being registered, take it down to the uh, to the office and get it registered then and there. And that should be okay. Yeah. But it's up to you in the end. Um, no, I, I hear you on that one. Um, I just feel like, don't get me wrong, it's, you know, let, let's get her down the DM3 route. I'm all for that. But at the same time, I, I kind of don't want her getting away scot-free with this just like literally just you know getting it back home and such i kind of want to at least put in a written warning and such just to say look you do this again and you know i, I want her to learn from this because yeah. she is completely at our mercy yeah. here um you know and i don't think she's you know that sort of person that is going to lie to us but at the same time she needs to actually no. be aware I, I think of what she she's knew, done uh, when you pulled her over that she was screwed i think she just tried you know, tried to kind of play on it and yeah, exactly. You know, just kind of hoping that you weren't going to run this, run it through the system, or just going to let her go. Um, I don't yeah. blame her. I mean, you know, she was kind of caught like out in the open like that. So yeah, but yeah, let's go and talk to her. Let's try and see what we can arrange, and maybe we can, you know, get her to go home for Christmas or something. I don't know. Yeah, quite. And this was literally all because I was suspicious of her turning in from that hit and run yeah. that was literally down the freeway. What the hell? Radio traffic again. Yeah, Roger. I'll get back on comms. Right, uh, Angel, this is what we're going to do. One's going to be behind you now. Um, we're going to issue you literally with a written warning. Now, consider this literally um. a slap on the wrist compared to what we could get you in for. Um, I think right now uh, your bike should be going to county lockup, or sorry, county uh, tow, and you should be going to jail for driving without a valid driving without a license and driving with an unregistered vehicle so you're you're getting off really really lightly here yeah um thank you both so much Sam. look i can 
understand obviously you're trying to slide it through under our noses it'll never work be up from be honest with us next time well this is what you're gonna do okay you're gonna get that bike once you fuel it up you're gonna ride it straight home you're gonna get on the horn to the DMV get an application in for a driving license okay once you've done that uh, DMV should be able to either email you or post you a uh, you know a written application of a driving license and also if you're on the phone to them say you need to register the vehicle as well so they should include that in the post or in the email attachments um, as per I, the norm okay. I have a uh, I've sent in an application for the license it's just been so long and I haven't heard back from them right we'll chase that over them when you get oh. home because okay on our system it's showing that your DL status is none okay um, I'm not sure why right, that is I'll because sure that first thing. yeah um, sometimes these things do happen don't get me wrong the DMV are usually fairly hot on it but it doesn't make them perfect so it, it may just be it, it, it's you know it is what it is um, but yeah the, uh Go on the back. best thing you can do is just tell them straight up that hey, I got pulled over today by two uh, sheriff's officers. Um, I need this shit fixed, and I need it fixed now. And they'll get right on the system. Right. They'll put your name up on the system, and they'll mark it on the system for you. Uh, it take a while for you to get like an actual hard copy of it, but on our system it will show up perfectly. So if we do put you over, just give us your name, and just say hey, I haven't got my ID. It hasn't come through the mail yet. And we can run you through the system and see that you do have an active uh, driving license. So that way. Yeah. They, not going to come back on you, and you're not going to face some over in jail yeah. over the Christmas period. Right, I'll tell you what, let's get under the canopy yeah, once you I'll finish that. I'll make sure that. I'll do that then. Yeah, let's get under the canopy once you finish that cigarette. I'm going to start getting this written warning done up, but, um, yeah, now I think we've all spent quite enough time here trying to figure this out, which could have been avoided in the first place had you all just right. been upfront and honest with us. Yeah, I'm annoyed, guys. I am actually kind of annoyed at that. Um, I can't blame her for, you know, wanting to... I can't thank you both enough for letting me actually go home. Let it slide. I, I genuinely can't uh, no worries, blame just, her. Uh, like the deputy said, time, just I am make sure that if you do get I pulled over irritated. between now and you have your license, like on the way home, just make sure you tell them, hey, I got pulled over by uh, 205 and 236. Um, I'm going to call the DMV when I get home and get all this straightened out. And that way then, you're not going to face any punishment like that, okay? Alright, thank you. Oh, how are you? You're actually pretty lucky, because, yes, uh... We've just come from a funeral, burying my, uh... Oh, God. What oh, is okay, going on here? that off. Um... We just came from a funeral about an hour Oh, if he's gonna be northbound. Uh, buried my, uh, canine partner. So, Batch, I need you over here. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry if y'all's lost. Yeah. Right. I don't... Right, mate. I don't know what's going on. I'm just putting in this written warning now. I've put in the license plate now, and it's bouncing back to a completely different registered owner of Doc Capone. For what, the bike? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, it's 21 Sierra Papa Alpha 190. Uh, hang on, hop out. I'll use your scanner because mine's still over there. Yeah, Rog. Okay, yeah, mine's coming back too. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna just quickly run it through the system. This is getting ridiculous, guys. This really is. Okay, man, uh, we're having some technical issues, if you want to call it that. Uh, my partner here has just tried to run your plate one more time to issue the citation to. However, now for some reason, this bike is coming up to a. Batch, it's coming through to us. It's coming through yep. as a Sand King. Yeah, that just I just rang a bell on my end. Um, yeah, what her what? name? See if she's got the bike registered. It might be a, a DMV glitch. What of the registered owner to the truck? No, I just run her actual name on the system. It might be a DMV glitch. Uh, for. I don't. I can't remember her name. All I know is this Angel. That's all I know. Angel Cloud or something, isn't it?
Yep, same old, same old. No driving license status, uh, no registration to the vehicle, or to this vehicle anyways. No firearms, no warrants, no arrests, okay. no traffic citations, um, literally nothing. So this, yeah, the bike was never registered inside our, in, our uh, system, was it? No. Okay, uh, so probably what's happened is at the dealerships, they tend to kind of misplace a lot of plates, because of where they order them in, they get you placed whether it's a bike or not. Oh so what God. I'm guessing, some dumbass has done at the DMV is they've slapped a plate on the wrong vehicle, and that person's not driving around with her license plate. Right, so I'm... <laughs> At this point, I can't even give her a written warning, then. Uh, you can give her a written warning, um, actually through her system. Not through the bike itself, but through her system. Through her, on the system. Yeah, okay. Um, but for the for the vehicle, you can't really put a plate in it, because unfortunately, obviously, some... Yeah, that's what I meant. If I put the, the plate uh, in... Dealership. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was doing a written yeah. warning on it, it the person. It won't really matter. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. It won't matter. They'll just, uh, they'll look at it and... You know, half the time, no one even puts the plate in anyway. Um, but yeah, just do it that way and it should still work. Yeah, right, mate. Okay, ma'am? Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm thinking you bought this bike from a dealership, or did you buy it secondhand, or what's the deal? I, uh, I, uh, okay, okay. I, uh, so my friend bought it for me, I'm not sure where he bought it from, though. Like, he kind of okay. surprised me with it as an early Christmas present. Alright, uh, what I'm going to recommend you to do, go home to your friend, give him a call, find out where he bought this bike from. Uh, because right now, your plate is registered to a completely different vehicle. So, if, oh. you know, obviously I'm not saying you're going to go around and commit crime, but he's registered the vehicle under your plate. Um, so obviously, if you now go and register this vehicle with the same plate, chances are if he goes around and commits crime, or vice versa, if you kill someone or whatever, he's going to be the one that gets arrested for it. So if I were you, I'd maybe pick like a custom plate, or, you know, something that's like specific to you, um, just to make sure that you don't get in trouble and the other guy doesn't get in trouble, because then that's going to be a major issue, and there'll be a massive investigation into you and him as to figure out why you both have the same plate. Uh, my guess is your friend probably bought this from a dealership, and one of the dumbasses at the dealership didn't give you the extra plate like he should have done but he actually slapped it onto another well the sanking xl which is what the other plate or, like well the plate is registered to so my guess is that he's messed up and put the plate on the wrong vehicle um but like i said this is just more to cover you than anyone else because we don't want to you know have that plate pop in our system for attempted murder charge and then see you and be like oh yeah we know who that plate belongs to um because then you're going to be the one on the end of a you know in one of our guns, and that's not what we want. Is just oh, take this morning, ring up the DMV, tell them exactly what's happened, and they will allow you to have a custom plate uh, made for, uh, for free as well. Providing it's not something you know like stupid, um, they'll allow you to like pick your numbers and everything. That way, you just clear up the error on there. And okay. Thank you for telling me. I never would have known. Yeah, I've just caught no, it's not the totally tail different. end of this conversation. Um, yeah, get that cleared up quick, like, literally as soon as you get home, because otherwise you, not only you, but whoever this other gentleman is, one of you will be looking at fraud, for fraud charges as well, um, and that, that is oh, okay. massive compared to what this is at the minute, it, it, it just ramps it up in a whole new, uh, yeah. spectrum. Put it this way, if we were to pass this on to investigations right now, because there's two plates in the system, um, you're not going to be going home for Christmas, and your bike's going to be impounded. So, it's just better now if you get home and get this whole thing sorted out as soon as possible. Yeah. Right, I'm going to come around the other way, just so you can sign this. Right, just do me a favour, just sign this uh, line here. Um, it's not an admission of guilt or anything like that. Just basically saying you've received a written warning off badge number 236 and accompanying off accompanying deputy 205. Okay, um, I'll get you your copy and then you'll be good to go here. Thank you both again for letting me go home for Christmas. Like I say, we're not here to we're not here to ruin anyone's Christmas. We're just here to make sure everyone gets home and gets to their families and friends safely for the festive period. Um, if that's everything, uh, 
as far as I'm aware. I've got nothing else, Corporal. No, I got nothing. Have you got any questions for us uh, before we leave? <laughs> I'm alright, and I'm sorry if you all lost and have a safe Christmas. Yeah. Okay. You have a safe Christmas, and just be careful out there. Locals are going a little bit crazy, um, so try and keep a safe distance between them and the car in front of you, okay? Hmm. Yeah, probably best you go home okay, anyways with the, with the weather and that being yeah. a motorcycle. They don't mix, trust me. <laughs> yeah. Alright, man. Uh, unless you got any more questions, we're going to let you get out of here, finish feeding up your vehicle, and you can go. Uh, <coughs> stay safe. And just help, man. Stay safe. Ride safe. By the way, we've been booted down to a uh, city I don't know what the hell's going on right now, but what we're the... attached to another court, apparently. Oh, crap. I don't know what's going on. Okay, mate, no worries. <laughs> God, finally after, like, what, how long on it, on, at this location? The fuck is going on with my car? My car's having a hissy fit. You sure it's not an auto bot in disguise? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, my car didn't the bumblebee, I'm gonna be so ecstatic. Oh mate. Make sure it make sure he adds the emergency lights with it. <laughs> His eyes just flash with blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the hell am I gonna Sheriff's do? Department assemble. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh what? That's not even oh. <laughs> the, the light. His like bar just fucking like land like it's like on his head just flashing blue. <laughs> <laughs> BCS oh roll out. God. Oh shit. Uh I'm at radio, we got a uh sounds like active active ten thirteen is down in the city. Oh for fuck's sakes. Alright. Are we attached to it? Seventy three shots fired. Check quickly. Suspect Help, down. Shots fired. Do you run up myself another sheriff yeah. you know going out the parking garage now, watch your fire. Negative, we're still attached to the uh, 1011, so I've cleared us from the back in case we're needed for the shots fired, cool. Yeah, um, right, um, I'm 10 8 off that now, so if you want, we can chirp yeah, off and offer our assistance. Uh, I'm gonna wait, I don't wanna step over the radio. I think SWAT and SRU have it under control, but I do. Do units were code for, we got him in custody. Hey, there it is. Yeah, we're good, they're code Thank for. Thank God for that. Perfect. Alright, I need to go for a toilet break, because that traffic stuff took a long ass time. Yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna say that's probably one of the longer stops I've done. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like we've been here, what, almost the whole day and About night now. Fifteen minutes. Jesus. I know. Oh it's God, so Houdini bad. shit. Oh. Yeah. Right. All right. I'm fueled. I'm gonna, go I'm gonna get going, mate. Back. Yeah. All right. I'll um. Right, I'll, do you want me to there. call you ten six? Uh, not right now. I'm marking the system because again, signal 100 is still up right now until oh, yeah, uh, of course. Ugh. Brandon or, uh, Valentine clear it. But yeah, yeah. Rog. All right, I'm gonna just mark myself 10 seven. I'll be back soon. Yeah, all right, mate. Take it easy. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna head to Polito, guys. We've uh, been been there long enough, I think. <laughs> we're gonna head to Sandy, but uh, nah, we'll bin that off. Who thinks? Oh god, slide in there. <clears throat> well guys, I gotta say, that's probably been one of the 
longest encounters I've ever had in interactions with two different sieves. Um, we had what a whole day and a whole night. Two fifty-two to all county units and status check. Two thirty-six on green. Be advised, two hundred five will be ten seven two mics. Two fifty-two, two sixteen, two fourteen. Status. Green mm -hmm. dealing with the down subject. Three hundred seven. What's your stat? Three hundred seven, seven eight. Three hundred one. Yeah, that's got the status. Three fifteen is ready as well. 342. Last time I saw a 315, oh, he was at the top of the block. With about 216 to Metro. Be advised, 315 is down in the. 10 4. 323, what's your status? Green. 340, what's your status? Um, 1023 with a subject or a proper owner. 343, what's your status? Green. 370. Good. Jesus, 51 through there. Slow down. Super, dude, 216. Go ahead. One minute break and roll to that demo one. Go ahead. 236. Would you like me to attach? Go ahead. 307, 301, do we have an officer down at 8032? A for him. 10 4, do you have a more precise location? I've got the ladder truck on the upper side of Power Street. Please. It's on the bottom side in the parking garage area. 10 4. Metro 252. Go. Can you advise the 911 call that there is 911? Two of them, can you get that? Okay. Four hour place. Ten four thing. Two can you go ahead and stand down at dispatch uh get that out one call and that check the unit? Hey Bob. Two thirty six standard down. What's no good to me? How did I do this? Do the same traffic. County 252, 216, pair for 10 1. Correction 214, pair for 10 1. 3 back to me. 10 4. 3 4 to back, 10 8. 10 4. 236, be advised, I'm not involved in this incident down in the city. Would it be possible to be 10 1 as well, please? 10 4, stand by for 10. 10 4, many thanks. 236, I'm counting one. I see you. You ain't slick. Of course I'm not slick. Only sergeants can run slicks. <laughs> Dude, I saw you up for a mile off. You're not even hid behind the bushes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, but I'm hid from the bush in front, and that's where they're going to be speeding from. Uh, Plus, I'm here more shy. of a deterrent than anything, because this is a really tricky 
uh, intersection. So. Fair enough. Shall I just sit on the other end of the intersection to make sure it's n uh, make sure it's less tricky <laughs> for people then? <laughs> Can you imagine? Ideally, we need a fucking traffic light put up here, dude. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, could you imagine though? If someone coming from Seaview, they look left. Oh crap! There's a BCSO unit there. They look right. <laughs> Fuck! There's another one there. What's going on? <laughs> if fucking barricades comes out of nowhere, like surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Like, can, you ma can you imagine, like, it's just <laughs> you and me staring at this individual? It's literally just the the three cars, hey, and then that. Check, uh, check chat. Yeah. That name ring a bell? Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah, I was gonna say, you just see that car just slowly start reversing at sea view. Yep, blue lights on. <laughs> God, I've just literally said something and I've had the text chat open this whole time, so it's not come through. Fun motherfucker. <laughs> you know, I was gonna say that car just sees both of the cars and it's like slowly try starts reversing. It's just like, yep, blue lights, Let's pull over. <laughs> uh, oh, is that is that us with the truck that was towed? Jesus Christ. This ram is. Oh, are you kidding me? 205236, get the other car, the pink car behind me. Did you see where the other car went to? Negative. Alright, give us a moment! There we go! Hey! Hey, Ali! This fucking crazy lady's trying to kill me! Hey, Hi, right. come back! Whoa, whoa. Alright. I just want to give you a hug! Lady, keep, keep the fuck away from me! Come God, here! God, I don't want you. This is gonna happen. 205236, take the uh, pink car. I've got the border. I got him for speeding. 10-4. Hug me! Hey, you! I no, 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 no! Keep away from me! Keep away from me! Oi, right, get him! Get away! Hey, hey, stop! Come here! Hi! Come on! Are you kidding me? Stop running! Listen, you old lady, I don't want you. Stop running! Come here! Now you can't get in your car! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Step whoa, away whoa, from the whoa, car whoa. now! Get away dude. from the car! Dude! Dude, drop the gun, bro! Step away from the car, come towards me! Bro, step step fucker, away from the crack. car! Go back, sir, the, go back to the front listen, of my car and listen, just stay there for your safety, okay? This fucking fruitcake shine is the things I want to date right. What? Okay, look, just go back to the front of my car right, and just stay there name? for your safety, okay? Ma'am? No, we don't need guns, man! What? Ma'am? What is your name? County, Tim, one and two. My name's Samantha. Samantha what? Two at five, County. Go ahead. Show myself and two, three. Uh, sorry, Tim, let me Where'd baby go? Baby! Go ahead, Where hey, are you? Samantha, get off the car. Show Don't myself and here. 236 on a 1011, yeah. postal 2049, Samantha, East Joshua thing? Road, just by the uh, 13 intersection. Okay. Two vehicles. One's going to be a black baller. The second is going to yeah. be a pink right, two door Samantha, smart car. Stop. Samantha, stop walking away from that. From me, come oh, over there here. He is. Hey, Samantha. Ben. Samantha, right. What? Samantha, stop Hi. walking away from me. Come over here to the front. Two of this five. Can you ten nine the second? Oh, second yeah, is going to be two thirty six. Oh, no. Oh, God. Hey, right. Sir, come back and talk to me, please. Hey, Samantha, what, what's your relationship? This lady's a crazy gentleman? fruitcake. Hey, oh my God! Oh my God! I'm so sorry! Whoa, I'm so sorry! Whoa, whoa, I didn't mean to! Oh I didn't mean to! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! Get off! Get off his car! So I don't want to be involved with damages to his car as well like that, okay? Right. What is your relation to this gentleman? So we were online dating for like a month, and uh, we decided to finally meet up. So uh, I, I went to uh, 2011 Grapeseed, and we right. met up. Right, and okay. he was like, yo, what the fuck, man? You're like... Way younger than I thought you were, and I was like, "No, bro, it's me." Right. And he was like, "No, bro, bro, bro." And then. Uh, County two eleven. Uh, mm -hmm. I tried to impress him. I bought right. some cigarettes and. Can we turn one, sir? Then I tried to smoke yeah, it, and it, I almost died. It, it really sucked. Don't ever smoke cigarettes. Yeah, uh, not the best then, advice. Yeah, and then he was like, "Okay, come catch me if you can, baby." So I was like, "Oh, hell yeah, let's go." Right. What, Samantha? Just real quick. 
how did you two meet on this online site? What online site was it? Um, was it plenty of fish? Was it Tinder? What was it? No, it was eHarmony.com. eHarmony, okay. And um, how old are you, Samantha? How old are you? I mean, you're not too bad yourself. No, no, how old? Oh my. What's your date of birth? 7 11 98. 7 11 98. Right, 21. So, yeah, okay. Right. And do me a favor, do you know this gentleman's full name? Johnny, what? Last names aren't important. Sorry, I couldn't. Can you back to one? Okay. How long has this been going on for again, please, Samantha? Um, about a month or so. A month? Okay. And. To 16 County. Are you aware that he's wanting to 10, 7, 10, terminate the relationship? For 216, so you 10, 7, 10, 42 have. If you could, I mean. From what it sounds like to me, you is he, is suddenly aware that you are either underage or something like that, or you're not who you say to be online. He's trying to end, you know. Are you saying I catfished him? Well, you tell me. What? Bro, what's, that's messed up. What the fuck? Well, what's your online profile say? So stuff like this. Is your online profile true and accurate? representation of how you're presenting right now? 236 County. Um, Go ahead. I might have done a One additional 2049, I mean, please. We've got traffic it's, issues. It's me, yes, yeah, you know. Borrowed a picture of my grandma. Ten, She's four. dead. Uh, uh, she got right. killed by a reindeer one year. Oh, uh, right. No, you're not attacking. Okay. If you lay a hand yeah, on her server now, you will be detained. Go ahead. <coughs> can right. I be in Recoastal 2049 East Joshua? I'm not going to lie with you, that's technically, uh, that's technically a form of fraud. Okay, you can't batch. What, is this guy free to go? County 10191. Oh, you going to run me over like a real man? Um, batch, can I just uh, get you on the radio real quick? Okay, alright, so follow me back that down crazy here. lady. Keep that nuts and bolts fruitcake sir, headed yes, ass lady keep, away from keep, me. Sir, keep your words to yourself. Just ignore her and walk through the profession, okay? Alright. Group 205. Yeah, Batch, can I just get a brief overview of what this gentleman's told you so far? Uh, I'm ready for he... him to blow me! Just... He was on a dating site. He uh, recently moved me. from Liberty City, came to the county for a uh, quiet life. Um, as he goes to meet the woman, the woman, uh, burns down in front of him and mounts his car. As he gets out trying to get her away, she then tries to, uh, his words, not mine, sexually mount her, or mount him, sorry. Uh, he then shoves her off of him and gets in his car and drives away while she's in hot pursuit trying to get him. Yeah, uh, 10-4, that's matching up with me, mate, thank you. 205, is that 211 on scene with us? Tempo it is. Yeah, um, Sergeant, if you're free just to move the lady's pink car off the road, please, just so we can get traffic flowing again, please. Then if I could have a word with you. <clears throat> right, ma'am. Um, is he going to plow me soon? <clears throat> no, no, he's just moving your car off the road. We're not going to steal it or anything like that. Um, Samantha, I'll be real with you at the minute. Um, I'm, two a bit, five, two, I'm a bit two, concerned to the behaviours displayed at the minute. Just bear with me, I've got got colleague on comms again. 236, go ahead. The uh, male here is claiming that he here. wants to press He's charges so on her. Handsome. Yeah, 10 4. Um, given how this female is presenting to me as well, that's more than just understandable. Can I go okay. see him? No, yes. you, no, you gotta stay with, here with me oh. in a minute. Right. Samantha, I'm 
going to be real with you. The way you are presenting at the minute. Two or five, any available units. Can I get someone to run a 1027 for me? Um, concerning to me, okay. Do um, it. It's going to be a Johnny Heinsberg. How? Uh, I believe it's going to be Commons Bone. From how it's come across, the, the, the circumstance that we've come across you two is very alarming as well. Um, your manner of driving in these conditions is not appropriate at all. Um, and especially well, if someone five, is trying to, yeah, we'll send it. If, if someone is trying Driver's to license get, does not come back you know, in the system. Get away from you. One registered vehicle, a, a black bottle, license plate is going you. to be okay. Ocean Lincoln David Foxtrot Alpha Robert here, Tango. Don't move Stop. from here, otherwise you will be in cuffs. Yeah, you confirm the driver does or not have an active driver license? Okay. Ten four. As well. All right, I'm gonna have a word with my supervisor and we're going to get things straightened out here but um it's extremely yeah. important you stay here yes oh, can okay. i have a word with him too afterwards of course you can it's not a problem um providing oh. that's okay with him of course oh there's this cutie coming up don't walk out two or five two five two hi sunshine Go ahead. I'll give you a new skull on top of your Spawn poster 2049 East Shore Shore Road. It's going to be a female on a black and what red Sanctus. I guess I didn't want to. Uh, Pierce, she's going to cross, maybe heading towards oh, Polito. Uh, she should be driving around. She's got no valid driver. Uh, Sergeant, are you feel uh, right? I remember. Just come with me real quick. Okay, so straight up, that motorcycle ride that's just gone past us doesn't have a DL on her, as far as we're aware. Right. Um... <clears throat> Okay, um, oh god, what's she doing on his car? <sighs> right, I don't know. Um, from what it's looking like at the minute, we've got a uh, online dating situation turned catfish. Um, female in yeah. pink's presented as someone that isn't really true and accurate to how she's presenting at the minute. Um, Piers uh, completely Sorry. obsessed with this gentleman. Um, this gentleman's uh, obviously okay. understood that. Uh, this female is either underage or just not his taste as such um, right. and uh, has attempted to terminate you know whatever relationship or friendship they've had um, <clears throat> at which point this female's I wouldn't say been aggressive as such or anything like that but she's not quite got the message and become obsessed with him and started chasing him down and everything to the point of possible harassment okay. Um, I'm going to run her details now. Are they looking for that black snake? Yeah. Uh, I believe so. 211-205. Group 205. Were you looking for a black snake? Yeah? Sorry, no. Negative black sanctus, uh, black and red secondary. Careful. Yeah, sorry, I misheard All you, right. Sergeant. Um, yeah, I'm going to quickly run her details now. Her name is uh, Samantha Buchanan. She's uh, 21 years old, born okay. 7 11 98. Alright. Um, are you alright to just have a word with her while I run those? Whoa, 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 what's she doing? What's she doing with the vehicle? Alright. Yeah, Samantha! You the Samantha, you can't be going in his vehicle like that, okay? It's not your property to do that. Hey, what is that fruitcake doing in my car? Right, I'm gonna just get the. I'm just gonna get the keys and uh, lock the vehicle. All right, buddy, get here. Yeah, come on back here. Buddy, you can call me baby though. I'm okay with baby. All right, stand right in front of this. Uh, right in front of this SUV here. Who is it? His turn to call me. Yeah, you might have no. used a different uh, cruiser. I got the subject in the back. Hey, man! Oh my gosh, he's right here! No, man. Get away from me, you fruitcake! Hi! If I get out of this ghost, give me some fruit more fishes, cake. lady! Let me hey. hear a fruitcake! Where am I saying about giving your words to yourself? <laughs> oh, I haven't been handled like this oh, in a while. Oh my god, this is hilarious, guys. Oh, you're just making yourself, sir, okay? So just keep oh, quiet when it comes to over, all right? Let's end it. Oh, Alright, stand right in front of the truck. You're welcome, oh, I've got oh, the camera. subject at the wrong gas station, probably over. Okay! Yeah, but I'll take it, sir. 2.52, Gowney. 10 of them, one ready. Well, my deputy is, uh... Is Wait, it's kind of Okay, tell me what you're okay. doing. Okay, what's that big thingy right there? 10 of them, wrong gas station, 1, 0, uh, 1, 2. That is um, part of the two stand. Polito... 
Boulevard get and Great Ocean Highway. No Man, 32s at get this off time. The roof. She puts it down at my roof, I swear to God. Get off run the roof, over man. with a treadmill. Hey. It's on my vehicle again, I'm gonna run her over with the golf cart. Right, she's I gonna, like that! She's all clear on the systems. Okay. That's up to you, I'm gonna do. Right, um, Batch, you said the, uh, the gentleman's... No. Oh. You said the gentleman's I'm wanted to... Hey, you crazy right. fruitcake, I'm gonna ram, I'm gonna ram you sorry, with the sorry, damn semi-truck. Hey! Oh my gosh, can, can we have a sandwich right now? Right, uh, All right, Batch, so I'm gonna ask you this now. Do you want to press charges on her, or do you want to give, give her a stiff warning and tell her to get out of here and leave you alone? It's up to you. Uh, uh, County 10 one. Uh, okay. Okay. Got no, I, I don't. For harassment, so. I don't. I, it's perfectly fine. Just keep that fruitcake away from me, okay? I don't want to press charges. Okay. Uh, if you don't want to press charges, what I recommend you doing is contacting the courthouse. Uh, Deputy Shield here will be able to provide uh, case evidence of this, but you yep. can file for restraining order. Okay. Well, this is all, I've got this on um, body cam. Okay. I've got this all on body okay, cam perfect. batches. So what we can do yeah. is if they contact us, um, we can submit shields. Uh, Two fifty two two five. And you have all the evidence that you need there. Two fifty five. Right, Samantha. Our right. license is coming back valid in our system now. Yeah. Yeah, for no reason. This is your first and last warning now. Well, After gonna get everything we've yeah, learned, this is your only Go clean on. break. You understand all right. me? Status in chaos, right? You get mm -hmm. in your vehicle this second and you leave the you. scene. You do not. You do not follow this gentleman. You leave okay, the scene. Okay, bye. Room. There we go. Bye, baby. Oh, for... Hey. If you should have, if you should have described uh, what she was supposed to do before she leave the scene. Oh god. She's driving a right, so she looks like, like a bottle of Petmol Dismal. Yeah. You see her yeah, outfit that she's wearing? Right, there we go. Oh That's gosh, it. she got back out of car. Come on, baby, baby, help my car and stuff. County two fifty two. Go ahead. Right. Advice status and cancer. Oh, I, I got it. it! Thank you! Oh, you got it. Okay. Alright, All right, sir. I got the time. Um, yeah. Going around the court. Ten four, sir. I'm not uh, showing you. Submit the. Um, oh my god. Ten four, stand by. So you want to get a restraining order? That's what you want to do. Obviously, they'll contact uh, Deputy Shooter. You can have all the body cam footage for the uh, case. Uh, judging what we've seen here, it's going to be pretty much. Deputy County, am I preparing on your set? Oh, right, and if she follows me again, can I? Yeah, that um, If I've she follows me again and uh, call 911, can you camp, guys so, uh, respond out again? Yeah, um, yeah absolutely. Do you want me to um, submit that evidence? Just call 911. We do have uh, dispatchers active right now, so if Hold there's on. any any issues, just uh, call 911 and they'll send their nearest unit out. Just make sure you don't do any, like, you know, speeding, stuff like that. Uh, try and stay hey, safe. I can't promise yeah. anything. She's a fucking fruitcake. Alright. Just keep the, keep, the doors, keep the doors locked. If she punches her car, smashes her windows, we can then get her for vandalism, okay? Just All remain right, inside your vehicle. Don't confront her, don't threaten her, anything. Alright, All right, have, have a good day, day, sir. County 107, 1042, have a good night. 104, thank you for dispatching. Oh, sorry, thanks sorry. for dispatching. 104, 104. Right. Um, uh, you were yeah, I've got this all this evidence on body cam, Sarge, if you get what I mean. So, do you want me to submit that in the report, okay. or. I mean, you, you can. Okay, Rog. Um, yeah. Um, I'm all clear from this batch, but, uh, yeah. That was... Yeah, I'm good as well. That was fairly intense. <laughs> she, uh, clearly has an obsession <laughs> with the gentleman. Yeah. Uh, I have a funny feeling... Uh, just about anyone. Yeah. I have a funny feeling we're gonna be seeing her, or maybe even him again today at some point. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go back to my cruiser and try and just scratch out all that shit that we said on that truck. So. Oh god, I wish I could. Up shit. Yeah. All right. Um. What? What did I miss? Oh. Uh. Just... Oh, you don't even. You don't even. You don't even want to know. Just. Just. just yeah. No. Just go. Just, just, no. Just. No. Just all sorts. We're of, doing you a favor uh, by not telling yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. Just How bad was it? All sorts of sexual innuendos, sir. Uh, on a scale uh, of one to ten. Yeah. It was on the puke meter. Oh. It, it, yeah, yeah, it was literally so like cringe. I'm gonna factor. do you a favor and uh, not tell anyone, not tell you, okay? You know what? I'm okay with that. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. cool with the. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm cool with my girlfriend saying stuff like that, but not random. <laughs>
<laughs> oh god, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. What you get Sergeant up to your girlfriend? girlfriend? I didn't know what that. You, yeah, what you get up with your girlfriend, yeah, Sergeant, is before. your business. Wait, I've met her before? Well, have you met uh, Lily Jones before? Lily Jones? Uh, I have. Uh, name doesn't ring a bell, no. Maybe I haven't met her. Okay. Maybe you haven't. Yeah, Sarge. So um, um, yeah, maybe next time Wait advise her not to go climbing up uh, tankers in the middle of Mount Chiliad. I she wasn't my girlfriend Shoot. at that point. I was was that the time that. that someone dropped a package for you at Polito Bay? Yes, that was well for all of the beasts. Uh, so yeah. a load of cookies. Yeah, I've, I've met her like once and I just like said hi to her and <laughs> that was it. She reached on the radio and then I just left because I didn't know what the hell was going on. Yeah, Rog. Yeah. Just well, like... that's what you're going to be on Wednesday. Wednesday? I will be. I'll be late to shift though. I've got to take care of some stuff before I get on shift. But uh, yeah, I'll be a little bit uh, late. I was going to say you might. Well, actually you still might meet her because she's opened up her, uh, uh, her garage then. But I was going to say uh, just after oh, nice. briefing there's a bit of a competition. Between her and uh, <laughs> Lieutenant Valentine. Uh, oh, really? So say, uh, yes, Lieutenant Valentine has challenged her to a twerk off. Damn, Sergeant, are you seriously okay um, with the whole of the BCSO witnessing this? <laughs> I shit, I mean, I want to witness Valentine twerk that ass. Uh, okay, at this point, two faces, this guy show me 10 8 code 4 on that last stop. Uh. <laughs> Uh, someone has to record it and upload it. Could not get out of there quick enough. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> exactly. Uh, oh god. Right, uh, you seen Twitter? You on comms? Uh, I believe so. Oh. Stand by one. Two thirty six. Mic check. Yeah. Uh, Two thirty six. Five by five. Ten four. Thank you. Yes, mate. Right, do you want to take comms or do you want me to take comms? I'll take comms if you want me to, mate. Then no, we're at then I need gas apparently because this pickup does nothing but fucking drink gas. <laughs> two thirty six units be by showing myself and two of five ten twelve known as car two thirty six. See, all I can do in that situation now is just type waves. <laughs> uh, I think we got that um, female without the driving license on Twitter again as well. I'm just monitoring it all on the MDT at the minute. It's absolutely bouncing. Uh, Moss pulled her over and uh, she must have gone onto the DMV and they got their shit together because oh, uh, apparently she's been issued her license. Yeah. Right, let me check that. Just double check it. Oh, in fact, I actually, this is something. But... Yeah, no, th this is something I love actually because I've got my laptop right next to me. So on my actual system, I can, I can essentially check out while still talking to you. <clears throat> Look who it is. You see that she just cut through two lanes of traffic right there, but I didn't stop. Oh, mate, she didn't even stop and she cut the corner. I'm gonna let her up. Yeah. Driver, pull it over. I wish the RAM had a PA system. Oh wait, it does. 236, can we? 
It's going to be 1011, nearest postal 4013, Joshua, just off of Joshua Road, on a uh, pink Panto. Going to be license plate 01 Romeo Whiskey Yankee 658, occupied times one, no assistance. Alright, I'll go. I'll go and uh, have a word with her, mate. Yeah, I just ran the plate and the name and everything, she comes back clear. Yeah, tempo. Oh, Samantha, Samantha, get, ba get back in the vehicle, Samantha. What? Don't, what don't be jumping out on us. You? Right. Okay. It's you, though. Yeah, it's me. Right. Um, Deputy Will Shield, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. My colleague, Corporal Bachelor, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. The reason we stopped you is because you blew the stop sign at Route 68 and Joshua Road and then you've also cut the corner doing that, you've cut another motorist off Samantha. Um, I didn't see a motorist but I stopped at the stop sign on the, the little dirt track there and then I went zoom zoom because I didn't want to die. <sighs> right, yeah, given the road conditions, do you honestly think that's a wise idea Samantha? Don't want me to die? No, I think that's politically correct in every way shape and form. Right. Well, okay. Um, if you got any documents for the vehicle, Samantha, if you could just get, get those for us and uh, we'll run you through the system. Obviously, we know who you are, but um, we need to just check the vehicle is all in order as well, please. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Alright. There you go, Katie. Alright, appreciate it, Samantha. Just sit tight. I don't mean the cops either. Um, it's, it's a fucking pig. It's a, <laughs> I've never seen that before, I, ever. I feel like someone let that pig out of the gun just to fucking throw an insult at us. I like, genuinely seriously? do. Oh. Hi, okay. piggy. Hey. Hi. I like that bullshit, uh, bro. What did Good I tell you about days. getting out of the car? Oh! You said I'm you though, that's a pig, and I don't mean the cop's piggy, like that's an actual piggy. Right. <laughs> and really cute, it's right. pink like me. <laughs> Until we tell you to do so, just stay in the vehicle, okay? Just because we don't want oh. you running off or running up on us or anything like that, okay? Appreciate we're off the road, okay. but at the same time it's still a roadway. Okay. Okay! Jesus Christ, I'm freezing my backside off. I feel like we should get game work now to take that pig. We'd have a sandwich. Dude. You complete and utter what? savage fucker. I like it. <laughs> right, I um, really want a bacon sandwich right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the weather makes it for one. Um, have you run the vehicle through, mate? Yeah, it's uh, clean, clear, registered, everything like that. Uh, she's got no citations, no arrest, no warrants, uh, no registered firearms. So she's good. Yeah. All right. Um, I think we'll just let her off with a written warning, mate. We don't really want to be yeah. being the bad guys so close to Christmas, and you know she's given her reasoning for the maneuver, anyways. Yeah, just tell her not to do it again, because I mean that was oh god, was kind of yeah, what she straight did, up shooting across like that. Well, if you had to drop anchor, we'd be uh, sliding for sure. <laughs> Alright, mate. Oh, definitely. <clears throat> okay, Samantha. Here's your information back. Ah! Alright, at this time, I'm just going to be writing you a written warning. It's uh, not a citation or anything. You're not paying any fine. It doesn't go on your record. Um, but it's just to basically to let other deputies know if they stop you that you have been stopped before, okay? Okay. Alright. Just do me a favour, I'm going to uh, hand this over to you, if you can just sign it for me. Um, it's not an admission of guilt or anything like that, as I've just explained. Um, it's just basically confirming that you have been stopped by us, okay? Okay!
211 will be in route to Sandy Shores Sheriff Station. Okay, cheers, I'll just get this copy for you. Okie dokes, that's all yours. Um, as soon as my colleague turns off the blue lights, you're free to go, okay? Okay! Alright, drive safe, Samantha. You too! Well, technically speaking, I'm not driving, but yeah. Alright, uh, just turn the lights off, mate, so she can go. Okay, right, I'll get this um, put in through. Oh my god. What do we just tell you? Are you sure giving her a citation wasn't the smart choice? Um, uh, what the 205, hell? 211. Two at five, two eleven. Go ahead. Would you like myself and two three six to take that memo one call? Ten four, if you can take that. Let's go keep the peace. Ten four. Seventy three fifty two. Go. Do you mind if I come up there, ask her, ask that subject a few questions? Contact two eleven. Seventy three two eleven. Fuck is going on with go my ahead. car? It's not starting. Can I online. enter your jurisdiction? Question a subject 52 currently has. I in regards to what? A possibility of property damage down here in the city. In regards. Uh, copy again. Yeah. 52, can I get a postal? 1079. If you are dealing with a individual in all black clothing with a red Santa hat, just give me a shout, I've got a bit of a report with them. Be advised, if it is that individual, oh five, it's going to be a selected mute. Stand by, you're unable to hear. Thirty six, go ahead. I'm actually efficient in sign language, mate. I'm just wondering if this uh, subject in question is as well. Do you will be responsive to that? Are you efficient in BSL or ASL? Uh, it's going to be BSL, mate. Bit bad, this individual who understands ASL. Turn four, kind of paper to be done. Seventy-three. Seventy-three. Two thirty-six. Individual is able to hear you, but is not able to talk. How copy? Yeah, ten four. Give him a pad number. Two or five, you can show myself two thirty six on the scene. Two thirty six, two oh five, it's gonna be first floor directly above you in the barn. Timber, can you see someone up there? Ten four is matching our description. Oh, hi. Hey, uh, how you doing? You uh wanna come down and talk to us or uh I'm pretty much the same. You wanna come down here? Okay. Um no? Okay, do you want us to come up there, if that's okay? 
Alright, yeah, just stay there, we're gonna come up, okay? Where the hell's the ladder for this place? Day 6, 205, to be advised, they've moved out of sight from me. They're hiding behind the hay bales. And for I can see him, he appears to be sitting on top of a hay bale. 10 4. Coming to you. Hey, how you doing? Seventy-three entering county jurisdiction. I mean, what I'm gonna check this notepad to you, because um, I unfortunately don't know sign language, but you seem to be able to understand what I'm saying. So. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Okay, so, uh... What are you doing up here? Okay, you're getting out of the cold. Um... I mean... It's not really that much warmer in here. I mean, yeah, you've got, like, the hay bells and stuff, but... You've still got a lot of cracks and frames and everything, so it's not really warm here either. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I guess that's it's true, yeah. Um, is this your property, is it? seem to be doing any damage here, so I don't mind us staying here for a little bit. Um, okay, uh, somebody did notice, because we did get another one cool of someone acting suspicious in a barn. Um, do you have any weapons on you? Anything we need to be concerned about? Okay, you got a switchblade. Alright, where is the, uh, where's the switchblade located? Do me a favor, just keep it in the back. Don't reach for anything unless you have to, okay? Okay. Uh, do you have a name? I believe I've dealt with you before. Okay, where's your, uh, where's your wallet located? Is it in your backpack or is it in your pocket? Alright, do me a favor, just go into the bag slowly and uh, retrieve your ID from your wallet, okay? Yeah, that hay bale, those hay bales aren't comfy. How long have you uh, been, a, been in this barn for? Okay, Xavier Detman, yeah, I've had a run in um, with you before. Uh, um. okay. What did uh, What did you say? It says he's been here about an hour. Okay. Uh, sorry, do you ha do you have a place of residency or anything like that? Any place we can drop you? You're you, what homeless or? Do you have friends that you stay by? Are you a sofa surfer, as we know them, or? Uh, what 
you say? Says he's uh, running with some sort of uh, gang in the rough parts of Los Santos. Do we not? Uh, uh, so, sir, do you have any gang affiliation ties? Anything like that? Or better yet, tell us what gang you're running with in the city. We know how to approach this. Seventy-three fifty-two. One mic out. Uh, Tempo. Translate, please. Place is in. We're safe, he's not going to hurt us. He's admitting to he's part of a gang, but he doesn't want to say which gang. 73 from 36. He needs what do you go? Before he goes back to finish business, apparently. Be advised, do you know of any gang members uh, in Los Santos that may use oh. American Sign Language? Okay. Negative. Turn four. See if I can uh, pass it through to your gang unit or intelligence teams. We've got a Xavier Detman here, um, who says they're part of a gang or affiliated to a gang, but they're refusing to ID which gang. So, uh, can you actually talk, or is it that you choose? You know, can you talk or can you not talk, or is it just you choose not to? What happened? Okay. How come right, you can't fine. speak? He does have uh, three GSWs to the chest. Um, I don't like. Shouldn't what affect. Said, it yeah, shouldn't affect his vocal cords, though. Unless it's something to do with his breathing. No, but I still don't like. Still don't like how he said he's going to take care of business. Yeah. Xavier, what are you afraid of? Uh, that explains okay. that then. Alright. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, so when you said you're gonna take care of business, um, at least from my line of work, when someone says they're gonna take care of business, that basically means you're gonna find someone and you're gonna cause some serious damage or harm. Um, I take, one second. Uh, Deputy Shield, turn off your uh, body cam for a minute. Yeah, Rog. Uh, me and um, 211, we landed Foxtrot, and you came running through the gate, and you just sat there taking pictures of uh, Foxtrot. Yeah, I thought you looked familiar with Black in the Santa Hat. Um, do you have an obsession with helicopters, or first responder vehicles, or, or what? He's saying he wish he could fly helicopters, uh, um, but due to his criminal record, he can't. Okay. Um, yeah. He's saying um, that he. Hang on, flying Fox Trot is kind of reserved for. Yeah. Right. Uh, sort of more experienced members. Yeah, um, Xavier, this from is the record that's going to limit you. Yeah, uh, but also it's just. <laughs> It's, that's not due to your criminal record, mate. We don't take members of the public up in Foxtrot, just due to yeah. all sorts of, you know, it, it's not that we're unsafe as such, but if anything were to go wrong with Foxtrot, given that ride along as such, then yeah, there's all sorts of implications that could be made. I mean, just uh, last week, I believe it was, um, or it could have been the week before, uh, me and Sergeant McLaughlin, we both got in a air pursuit with a uh, two, aircraft two, two, that was two, literally one. flying like meters above uh, people. I mean, we had to, like, we were forced to fly low to try and make contact with him. Um, so, I mean, that's the kind of, like, if we were to crash, that's on us. You know, we, we take full responsibility for any damage that happens to us. Um, but I mean, you seem like a nice person. I don't know what you've been convicted for in the past, but being up here in someone's private property is this, you know, it's not, it's not good. 
I understand you want to get away from the cold. Um, but again, I mean, there, there was a gas station just down there. Uh, you could have gone there. You could have, you know, got yourself a nice cup of coffee. You know, stayed warm inside the building for a few minutes. I'm sure that I know the shop owner down there. He's, he's a nice person. He won't, you know, but, like, bother you. But going into people's private property is <coughs> not a good thing to do. Especially last week when you came running through the gate. Um, I mean, Foxtrot was there. The only reason we didn't tase you or shoot you was because we were refueling Foxtrot at the time. And if that had gone up, the whole entire gas pump would have gone up as well. You know, like, going into private property, that, that's not a good way. I mean, how did you get your uh, three gunshot wounds? <clears throat> two three six two, two eleven. Eleven. Yeah, go mm. ahead. Stop the traffic, I'll pass it. Um, be advised, we're currently engaging with Xavier. He uh, appears to be positive. However, we are getting some very worrying messages from him. Um, mentioning taking care of business back in Los Santos. Uh, he's admitting to being part of a gang affiliation and that they're, from what 205 and myself are gaining from this, there may be some sort of gang war or beef okay. going on. Um, um, which, you do uh, realise that's why we're here. He's putting himself in imminent danger. At the minute, I have an ability to arrest on criminal trespass however i don't think it would be favorable given the subject's condition and i don't think it'll be beneficial in terms of rapport to arrest him um but if you've got any ideas in how we could potentially sway him to come wait, with wait, us was, of his own choice that would be beneficial five two so three six try mentioning he'll get to see fox shot one yeah, and maybe yeah. have Xavier? a seat in it if the sergeant gives permission for it. Yeah, Dickinson, Roger Temple. Stockman, Davidson. Um, if need be, just give me a shout and I'll come out there. Yeah, stand by. I mean, um, let me go out to you real quick. 236, 373, urgent. Go. I'm getting some names or sorry have rather two or five getting some names from this week? gentleman uh names reed dickinson stockman davidson now correct me if i'm wrong but i've i've uh, i know a sergeant dickinson from lspd 373 those all appear to be uh active officers within lspd okay Ten, um four um, I mean, I know you do have a criminal past, Do we but... know if this is some sort of I mean, how old are you? going out? I mean, you can't be that old. I mean, you look young enough. Negative. We did have multiple officers go down. You don't know how old you are. Today. You born? Not, not unknown if it's gang-related. Yeah, that's confirmed, Temple. Okay, 1996. 73 to 36. What's your current 20? I mean, do you really want to get involved in a gang? Be advised, we're going to be uh, in a barn I mean, off of GOH near Postal 1009. We're going you to seem to have an obsession floor. with helicopters and stuff like that. So I mean, you Copy, can I am investigations. Sure, I can might, pass it off to PD you gang if you'd like. No, yeah, ten four if you want mine. Um, we've got a pot. You get a job down in the city. It's a possible vulnerable um, person at this point. You know, um, maintenance on aircraft, stuff like that. We've got one criminal trespass, but I don't think we're going to be pushing yeah, through with that. Enjoy. Honestly, is that not um, better than running minute, in a gang, shooting people over, over and appears to be in some sort of danger from gang affiliation? That for me seems a lot more logical. 10, 4. Uh, so you're the head of the gang. 73 or 36. Would you like me in route so you, before I leave jurisdiction? You're the kingpin and all this. Uh, stand by on that. I'll, um, I'll ask the gentleman. Mm -hmm. Hey, sir, 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 come on. Look, like Xavier. I said, everything that you say stays here, okay? We're not going to use it against you. All right. My body cam is still off. My partner's body cam is still off. We're too far away from our cars to hear anything. Okay. I just want to get a sense of feeling, to see how you're doing. Two thirty six. Things may be slightly escalating here. I don't care if you're a boss, like a boss man. I haven't um, seen you commit any crimes. I really have nothing to arrest you on, so I really don't care. Not respond and not turn twenty three just yet. 
been cooperative with me through the whole entire time. Fifty two to a government. Blade in your back pocket. No, Xavier. So, come on. Um, not, Xavier, here. would you have anything? Two five two to two one one. Two three six. It's going to be a ten seventy at this time. Two fifty two. I remember. Give me a location. He's heading back towards GOH. He's across GOH towards the Polito gas station. Two thirty six be advised he's dipped into a farm off of one zero one zero and they're currently attempting to locate at this time. I believe he may have gone onto the beach if we were able to leave the fox shot one please. Unable at this time, two eleven still out with the mental case. Turn four two oh five. Two oh five. Turn four I had to uh plead him and get fox shot one. Yeah, turn four. 236, I'm gonna offer up the ramp, see if I can uh, locate on foot. No, sorry, on. Uh, locate off road. Don't wanna go down there. At one starting pre fight, it should be up ETA two mics. Turn four. <clears throat> two thirty six. Oh, two thirty six. I've got him. Xavier, stop. Xavier, stop. Location. It's going to be one zero zero four behind some barnyards. Right, Xavier, I'm not going to come any closer than this, alright? We're not here to hurt you, pal. Okay. Look, you can, you can, glare, you can glare at me all you want, pal. It's not going to change anything, okay? If you've got bleeding gunshot wounds, then we've got a duty of care to protect you and make sure you get medical aid. You know, it's... That's down to you, but... We're not here to arrest you or anything like that. We're literally just here to make sure that Boxer you're okay and care, care for your welfare, okay? This isn't... Look, <clears throat> whatever you're in is clearly not going away. But from what I'm seeing and the behaviour you're, you're displaying, mate, it it's not going to end well for either you or any of your friends by what it seems. If you're saying that the LSPD to, to box up one, can you guide me to, um, try this and not even they won, then th that, that's that's serious. 10-4, I got you. Uh, take that left right there. Yeah, Foxtrot, if you want to um, just come in a bit lower, mate, he seems to uh, he seems to uh, it's gonna be, there yeah, be engaged with you. 236, 236, I've already got about 20 meters I Hey, Xavier. Xavier, you know Deputy Moss, right? Yeah. Right, this is as far as I can drop, I can't go any lower than this. Yeah, 10 4. As close as you can get, that would be fantastic. Um, but yeah, let's just try not to uh, obviously endanger All right. yourselves. Alright, Xavier, what's going on, buddy? Talk to me. Uh, 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 no, no, don't, don't run, don't run, buddy, don't run. I don't want to hurt. I do not want to tase you. Come on, Xavier, don't do this. You're only gonna make things worse if you run, buddy. Box one, ground unit. See if we can. 
get him to cooperate by bringing him back to Pluto to meet to be with the Fox for one. Sounds Xavier, cool. listen to me, okay? How about we go and have a, a little look at Fox Drop, okay? But you need to come with us and work with us, okay, partner? Mate, last thing we want to do is hurt you. He's saying something about okay. him having right. to go, mate. Hey, 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 hey. Relax, relax, partner, relax. 211, 252. Okay. Stand by. 236 to 11. If I we can have you to 1004, we're hey, in active hey, negotiations hey, 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 with hey, hey, a Xavier you're Deadman. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay, buddy. No. Come on, partner. Copy. Can you advise on the situation? No. Be advised, okay, the, we may have a 1070 right. here. We're looking to apprehend, apprehend if possible, but the subject uh, no. Come on. appears to let's, be let's escalating. Um, hey, come on. No aggression at this time. Come just on, partner. evasion. Copy. What's your come location? On, partner. It's going to be just off of GOH 1004, he's running. Dad, for a standby. Feed him momentarily. Come on, Xavier, stand don't make me do this, partner. He's not, he's not running anymore. Got him, got him, got him. Right. Xavier, just relax, chill out, relax, relax. Okay, well, you should see Fox hey, running. Hey, 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 Yeah, maybe he stand back so I don't drop my cups. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Xavier, chill Xavier, out, otherwise we're going to have to stun drive do you, this, right? Xavier, stop Ow. thrashing out, otherwise I'm going to stun drive you, alright? We don't want to do it, we're let's here to that. help let's you. Let's not do that, let's not do that. Let's not do right? that. Right, chill okay, out. Just gonna escalate. Yeah, no, Moss, at the minute he's thrashing out, mate. He's beyond reason. Stop thrashing out. I'm, I'm aware. 211 Fox okay. Trail 1, uh, where are they going to be off of the highway? Xavier, stop Take trying to hurt you. down that dirt road. not trying to hurt you. should see him directly to your left as you go down that dirt road. Yeah, 236, 252's illuminated on blue lights. We're trying to, um, we're trying to get him restrained at this time. He's kicking off badly. I'm about to stop driving. Right, he's on, he's on the ground. He's on the ground. I got him. You made this a hell of a lot easier, partner. Alright, both of you calm down. Hey, Xavier, 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 calm down. Alright, so what happened then? Oh, 36 will have full story. I tried to negotiate with him, didn't want to listen. Yeah, we've, um, initially it's been a call. Be aware, for... he's also assaulted me as well. Yeah. Um, Glock, I've got it on body cam again, so I can, uh, I can forward it to you in the report if you need. But um, initially, it's been Batch and I go to <clears throat> this gentleman in a barnyard just across the way. I've been talking to him. He's been perfectly passive. I'll give you information about that later. Um, he's then said he's said too much and has run off from us to across here, which I, where I've located him. Started in active negotiations with him, just, you know, calmed him down. Um, Moss has got on scene, taken over the negotiations, um, at which point uh, I've gone to start covering Moss with non-lethal and think it's freaked him out a little bit. Uh, we've then managed to, yeah, we've then managed to apprehend him, but he's been kicking off like ridiculously. Um, and uh, yeah, at the minute we're just trying to treat for some GSWs that have reopened. Xavier, hey, pack hey, it hey, in. Hey. We're trying. We're not trying to hurt you, pal. We're trying to look after you. Right. Xavier, you're all right. No, stop. Stop. I'm. I'm, I'm on. You. I'm on his head, stop mate. Now. So he's not gonna. He's not gonna break free. He's not gonna get any movement from that. Sorry, Xavier, but you've made this a lot harder than it needed to be, buddy. 
Alright, slow it down. Slow down your breathing. Fox one ground right, might clear to the break from here or just any mirror? Fox shot, you clear. Flash out one you clear. Good night. Yeah, probably have a good night. Yeah, bring it down there. No, partner. Don't be trying that right now, partner, okay? Alright, last week in Paris, set him up for a medic, so they can treat you. Alright. Xavier, I'm gonna help you onto your knees, okay? Try and do anything violent, I'm gonna put you back on the ground. Got it? Not if you understand, partner. Alright. Alright, um, this guy's got uh, previous injuries that have been healing. Um, we've had an altercation where we've had to apprehend him uh, aggressively and he's um, kicked off at us. We have um, bruising to uh, my colleague over here, but we, more importantly we've got three reopened GSWs um, yep, this from is this Mr. Xavier, ain't it? Yes, that's correct. Yep, it's Xavier. Alright, yep, I, got, I know his history. Okay, I'll just, All right. well, I'll leave it to you then. But it, Upon seeing his wounds reopen, I've applied what quick cotton gauze I have on my persons, and that's basically what we've done. The sergeant has checked vitals, and we've been trying to get him to calm down. Alright, well, let me see Highly if I can go and get him to moment. calm down. You know, he's been coming by the firehouse, I've been giving him some food and everything, so let me see what I can do. Yeah, it was that. All right, Xavier, if you remember me, uh, go ahead and nod. Xavier, if you remember me, nod your head, please. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and check your wounds out, all right, you know. They're reopened. You might have to take you back to the hospital to get them restitched up, okay? Uh, I just want to make sure you don't start bleeding out yet, alright? And go in shock. Right. I'm going to check the wound out, alright? I'm coming up right now. I'm going to go ahead and check the wound out. Come on, bud. Let me check the wound out. Let me get you over the hospital, get stitched up. Alright. Your health is more important. Xavier, mm -hmm. just let the medic check your wounds out, okay? Alright, I'm gonna check it out. I know you had that cut. I gave you some gauze and antibiotics for it the other day. Just so you all aware, medic did manage to pack it with quick one gauze. Couldn't still be bleeding. Alright, I just want to make sure. 
9 out of 10, it's going to still need to get uh, restitched up. Stop leaving, but you still gonna need to get some stitches, bud. Now it's up to you. Either you want me to transport you, or these officers will go ahead and transport you. Okay. The uh, medic transport you down to the hospital. Nod your head. There we go. What's up, so hard? Alright, let's go ahead and get him stand up and I'm gonna go ahead and take him to Sandy. Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and stand you up here then? Alright, count of three. One, two, three. There we go. Alright, Xavier. All right, mate. Um, I've got your bag, mate. Everything's still in it. I've not even taken Switchblade or any of the money out. So don't worry about that. We'll hold on to that for you. And we'll take it to the hospital for you as well. So you can, uh, you've got that on you when you get there, alright? Yeah, what's up? Are you planning on bringing charges against Xavier? Um, I'll be honest, mate, not really. Um, no one was on okay, site. I'm, of not, the I'm not pressing. Yeah. I'm not pressing charges on the assault. No, no one was on okay, site at can, the uh, uh, barnyard. We can so. talk about the charges later. Then uh, if we're going to get Xavier off to the hospital. Then. Yeah, that can be stitched up. Yeah. I'm going to take these cuffs off for you, Xavier. Okay. Don't try anything silly. Alright, chill if you won't mind standing back just in case my cough drop again. Yeah. Right. Don't run away, mate. I'll walk it. I'll walk it in the ambulance, Xavier. I understand you probably don't like me, Xavier, so I'll get out of your way. Alright. Here we go. Come on, bud. Yeah, um, John, I'm gonna give you the bag. Um, be aware. It does have a uh, switchblade on it. Shield. Huh? Shield. Uh, I wouldn't give the medic the bed. I can just drop that off to the hospital. Baby. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to. You can't carry anything like that. Ah, Roger, okay. Alright, there you go, Sergeant. Alright, I'm gonna Thanks. take him to Sandy. Alrighty. Alright, it's um, only Sandy, I'll just go and drive it down there, that's easy. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, uh, hey, uh watch need out. to get going. Uh, uh. Okay, so see. Hey. Yeah, you too. You got whoa, 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 whoa. either sit up in the seat or you can't, can't be underneath the stretcher, bud. Be on the stretcher or in the seat. Oh, here. That is a safety protocol Let me for grab me, some bud. Alright, there you go, bud. Yeah, I uh, remember, I, I, I remember perfectly fine. I, you gave me a candy cane. When I was in front of Station 7, but I still got that candy cane, alright? Oh, but he also gave you a candy cane? Yeah, he Don't gave you. me a candy cane. Yeah. Alright. Here, you can have the stuff box. You can, uh, you can keep that. It'll bring you comfort. That's, uh, my gift to you, like your candy cane was gift to me, okay? What? Medics are gonna help you out. Uh, I don't believe these two officers are gonna be charging you with anything. Um, someone should be by to talk to you at the hospital a bit later, okay? Hey, quick question for you guys. Is there yep. some food still there? Yeah, there's a... That's fire. Um, there's... I, I think it smelled like some sort of 
burger or something from McDonald's in a tinfoil packet, but I don't know, it smelled better than a McDonald's. Well, so I brought I brought over some chicken, mashed potato, corn earlier. Mm. Okay. Yeah, there's still, yeah, there's still some for you and uh, Moss if you want to go back to Sandy's Lodge. Batch and I left some. Uh, I was going to see if uh, Xavier would want to stop by and grab a plate too, you know. Well, that's it. If you still right. got some, right, I can I sure. can bring something by. I'll stop by like uh, I'll stop by a restaurant or something on my way to Sandy. Grab something. All right. Yeah. I'll let you head off. Yeah. All right. Two fifty two ten seven ten forty two. Have a good night. All right. You ready? Have a good night. Basic showing me uh, escorts in medic five. Two eleven, two thirty six. Go ahead. You guys, that's a non priority transport. There's no need to escort him. Ten five just got concerns and KS Savior kicks off in the back of medic five. Copy, you can go ahead and follow him. Just no need for an escort. Yeah, 10 4. Sorry, I'll just like, yeah, I'll be trailing with Medic 5 then on blue lights. All right, bud. Let's go in there and get you some stitches. All 
All right, we got one patient, Xavier. A um, couple of his gunshot wounds, um, stitches came open. We went ahead and put a pack of gauze. Um, just need to get it restitched. The sheriff's office is right next to me. Go ahead. Wow. Um, All right, Xavier. So when you get to done, the nature man, of, you know, uh, what, um, what's happened to this gentleman? Do we want to uh, alert security to keep him on close watch food, at the hospital? Copy. I can go and inform them. Yeah, ten four, if we could. All right, bud. I'll see you until next time. Right. Xavier, we need to hold you here until we um, get approval for you to go, mate. Um, at this moment, we need to ascertain what's happened to you. Um, and I appreciate that you may not like it. Um, but we've got to uh, conduct um, an investigation into this, mate. Uh, because of what you've told us, some of the stuff is actually extremely concerning. Um, it's not to say that you know, anything will be used against you as such, but at the same time, if you are in serious danger, then we've got a duty of care to you, um, to look after you, and also to prevent any harm coming to the public through yours or whoever, whoever's actions in relation to this. You're saying something about not being in danger um, and that it's a private matter. Okay, well that concerns me, Xavier. But we're here to care for your personal safety, okay? Uh, so my officers are going to investigate this. I don't know exactly what's going on because I wasn't there when you told them whatever you did. But uh, look, the hospital staff are going to take care of you. Uh, they have your bag then. Uh, security's gonna watch over you, the hospital's gonna watch over you, and uh, Chef's Department's gonna look into, uh, into the matter then and make sure you're safe, okay? But just uh, behave for the hospital staff for me, okay? You behave for me, Xavier? I want you to mean that, Xavier. Not that reluctant head shake or head nod. I mean, you hate for me, Xavier. I get it. We're not your best of friends right now. But like I say, we we need to uh, take care of you, mate, and we need to prevent anything that may be happening. You keep saying you're not in danger, but the condition you've ended up in, mate, that that qualifies to me as more than enough to say that you are actually in danger whether you consider it danger or not I'm afraid All right. Xavier I you ki you kicked my colleague and you almost kicked me in the face what do you expect I'm not trying to I'm not doing it deliberately because I enjoy it Xavier, just to, you know, if you behave with the hospital staff and work with us here so we can, you know, make sure you're not in danger and, and you know, make sure you're out of here safely and happy, then uh, I'm sure I could show you around uh, uh, Bird 1. And I'm not going to make a promise on it, but maybe, maybe I can get you a ride with Buckshot. I make no promises on that, though. I can probably show you around uh, our uh, our little bird if you would behave and actually work with us here, so we can make sure you're happy and get out of here safely. All right. There. 
that's what I like to see. Cool. Now you behave for the hospital staff, and work with my nice officers here. I'm gonna make sure you're safe, and I'm gonna make sure that uh, you wanna live the uh, happy life, okay? Have you shield anything you would like to say? No mate, just hopefully next interaction we have it's going to be a little less aggressive and violent, you know? Well, that's what I would hope. And I hope, uh, I hope you hear that as well, Xavier. Alright? Alright. Alright, appreciate it mate. We'll, um... We'll keep you updated if we make any progress, mate. We're not going to keep you in the dark with this. Alrighty. The yeah, April Hospital staff and uh, with my nice officers. Stay safe, Xavier. Take it easy, Go pal. Go now, Deputy Shield. Yep. Try both R2 and on this down here. Oh, God, I've got a shitload right. of paperwork to fill out now, Sarge. Ah, I don't. <sighs> well, at least we can call it a shift there, hey? Hey, I'm John. Alright. Give me assistance, medic. Yep. You had an off shift as well now, John. Yeah. Yeah, don't blame you, mate. It's been one hell of a shift. Yeah, how long I've been on shift. Yeah. So, do you need anything from me, or am I alright to go 10-7? No, I'm good. Cool, alright. Uh, six, six and a half. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Alright, see you next patrol, gents. Alright, guys. Yeah!